I would use the paintbrush tool so it really gives that cartoon look. Yeah, I like that idea. With digital art, they're being more playful and they're taking those risks with their work. They're building their confidence as artists, like I can create really powerful artwork because I'm not afraid to do it. Let me give it a try and if I don't like it, boom, I just click undo. When we switched to remote learning, I really had to create a whole new curriculum. How do you take a hands-on tactile curriculum and find ways of making art with all of the different devices, Chromebooks, MacBooks, cell phones. Let's get started on today's lesson. Artists created a, do a doodle bomb art piece inspired by illustrator Hattie Stewart. On the Sketchpad app, they were able to create their own doodle bombs. So we looked at Vogue, we looked at InStyle, and I told them to pick a cover that they could really play around with. I can draw right on top of my image. I will model a mistake by simply going back a step and revising my work. Boom, power of undo. A new idea can be very scary. If it doesn't work, am I gonna have to start over? In the traditional setting, sometimes artists are intimidated by that idea and they don't really take that risk. Whereas on the computer, I found that a lot of my artists were pushing themselves beyond their comfort zone and trying new ideas and taking risks because they had that ability to take a step back. So at first I added like a lighter layer and then I added a line. I love that you're working in layers. I feel like they're more open to feedback and applying it. I can either accept that revision or again, I can just go back a step and keep my original idea. So I love that you're all taking risks with your digital art. Even some of my timid artists are pushing themselves way outside of the box. And the reward for them is just seeing that I am an artist and I can create these incredible things. It's really taken my artists to that next level and I'm so proud of them.